Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, I'm Megan and this is my wife Tori. We got a pretty uh, awesome response when we put out our video for how we met and so then we decided to put out our engagement video. So today we're going to tell you guys the story of how we got married. Our part three. Part three. To our trilogy series. Mm -hmm. So if you haven't watched those two videos and you kind of want to watch our relationship or at least hear about how our relationship progressed in order, go ahead and watch those two videos first. We'll link them here. We got engaged. Watch that story and you'll find out how. And that was fall of what was the end of this end of summer 2019, 2019. august of 2019 so yeah so we decided that we wanted to get married before i deployed in january and so the a smaller wedding um courthouse type situation which is what a lot of military couples end up doing was the better option for us ultimately you know i wanted tori to be protected when i left it was obviously a romantic and like love decision that we got married. But I think we, had I not been deploying, we might have kicked around the idea of like waiting to have our big family wedding and have that be our ceremony. But the way that it worked out, we decided that we were going to do the courthouse wedding and we were going to have a small one and we decided we wanted to do it in Washington, D.C because we love DC. So we started looking at dates and we ended up choosing, uh, we were looking at October, but it just wasn't gonna work out for us. So we ended up going with uh, November. And then our plan from there was to just invite all of our parents and it was just going to be us and our parents. Megan's dad actually couldn't come. I think it ended up being like really late notice because we had to change the date um, mm -hmm. based on what the courthouse had available. and. It ended up kind of being a whole thing where it was just a random weekend that we Megan knew she was available and we were like, awesome, well, let's do that in a few weeks. So when Megan's parents couldn't come, we decided that if we couldn't have everybody there, then it, we wanted just the two of us. We didn't want it to feel like we were excluding anybody or that we were not having our entire family come. And um, so we decided that what was gonna make us happiest was just the two of us and this photographer that we were going to hire and we started looking at photographers um and that didn't really go well we had a few people that like blew us off we had a few mm -hmm. people that gave us like insane prices mm -hmm. that they were only would only do like four to eight hours mm -hmm. um because it was a wedding technically and so we had a lot we had a hard time with a few of the people that we reached out to we decided to ask my friend Paige if she would just come and take the pictures for us i have a camera the one we're using right now to film this on um and if she would just literally come and just snap pictures all day long mm -hmm. and then, you know, I could edit them and I could figure it out. It worked out exactly how it was supposed to. That's yeah. for sure. So. So when the day finally came, we had everything planned. I think I ended up getting a dress mm -hmm. like the week before because yeah. I ordered some online and they didn't work out. Um, where'd you get your outfit from? H&M. I just wore like a navy blue suit with white a white shirt and some nice shoes from H&M and um, I got Tori a bouquet from one of the local flower shops near us and it ended up turning out really pretty. So picking out our outfits and like planning all that was like pretty stressful because we didn't really know what we wanted. We were just kind of betting on when we found the right outfits, that would be it. So yeah. uh, we ended up, yeah, I think I, I got my dress from it was at Francesca's. Yeah, so when the day finally came, it was that Friday, we got up at like, I want to say it was like 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. and drove to D.C. I was like getting like pretty nervous. I was like obviously super excited, but I was just very nervous because it was something we hadn't done before. And I think just the ceremony part and like being sure that we got there and did everything and everything worked out like it was supposed to so that we didn't hit any bumps in the road. Like hopefully we did all our paperwork right and hopefully we, you know, pay for everything we were supposed to pay for. Megan drove and I did my makeup on the way there. And I'm obviously, as you guys have heard, if you watch our channel, I'm not good at makeup. So <laughs> it was a little bit of a disaster, but it ended up looking okay. We parked in um, a big parking garage that's like under a, a, like a federal building. We paid to park there and 
we got all our stuff, we went somewhere up in, into this building and changed, we went back down, dropped our stuff off, and then we met Paige, um, her fiance also came, yeah, he was awesome, he kind of like held everything and helped Paige get set up. We had planned everything out in advance so that we knew exactly what was going to happen since, you know, we weren't going to force Paige to figure out where to take us. So mm -hmm. we started at the Thomas Jefferson Memorial because that is my favorite, like, little spot of the city where you can see, you know, the tidal basin and all that stuff. So Girl, it was cold. It was freezing. So cold, so windy. So it's a miracle that we actually got good pictures. Yeah. Um, I'll put up the pictures of us at the Tidal Basin while we don't have our jackets on because you can see we have like big jackets that we have brought with us and we were just dying. <laughs> so we yeah. took a lot of fun pictures there. Then we went to the Botanical Gardens. Mm -hmm. We Ubered over there. We took some really awesome pictures. Some of my favorite pictures are of us of all time are in the Botanical Gardens. I love all of our wedding pictures, yeah. honestly. They turned out really, really good. And then we had the most eventful Uber. Was she an Uber? lift whatever the lady was ride because she could not find us and it was like one of those things where the time was ticking down and up until this point we had nothing stressful really happened nothing and like all the time was blocked out very well and we were not that far away but there was some kind of protest happening on the street so she was having a very hard time getting to us and then she couldn't find us when she was in the area so yeah so that got that got really stressful. And mm -hmm. then the ride there, we were kind of like, okay. And then you had to go through security to get into the building. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We so, took a couple pictures inside the courthouse. Yeah. We ended up getting there. I want to say like right on time. Yeah. But then we got there, we checked in and mm -hmm. then we went up and we had our little ceremony with the justice of the peace. Mm -hmm. And we actually had Robin while Paige was taking the pictures, we had Robin record the little, the ceremony. Um, and then we only sent that recording to our parents and to our siblings. Mm -hmm. So nobody else got to see it, and we haven't shown anybody else to this day since. Yeah. Um, so that was, at least we felt, a nice way to include our family. Include them, and they got to, at least we feel like they got to see it and be there for it. And So that, it was really nice. We had a really nice little ceremony. Tori messed up our vows. Mm -hmm. That is on video. Um, it was really really nice it was great and literally no stress with the exception of the uber <laughs> situation you know i i've heard a lot of people talk about their weddings and how they wish they would have done it differently um because they get super stressed out or you know some someone else imposes their will and they don't end up with exactly what they want and i think we didn't know that that was exactly what we wanted for our wedding ceremony but it ended up being literally exactly what we wanted yeah and from there, we went and had like a little celebration lunch and a mm -hmm. cocktail with Paige and Robin. And then we went on our uh, mini honeymoon to Charlottesville. And we went around and had a good time there for the weekend. And it was great. Yeah. And now we have the opportunity to, you know, we were, our plan was to do our family wedding in like 2020, but obviously that didn't happen. So 2021, obviously there have been things, restrictions and things like that. So we decided, you know, we didn't want to take the chance on that either because if we're going to do a big family wedding and friends, you know, we want everyone that we want to be there to be able to attend. Yeah, and so, for it to be safe. And for it to be safe, exactly. And that's what was so great about doing it, the the small wedding, the elopement first is, I mean, it I, there's not a single thing I would change about that day. It was perfect. It was like literally the happiest day of my life. And it was so stress-free. And I look back on it and like have nothing but like, the happiest memories you know mm -hmm. there's nothing I, I regret so then to go forward into our big wedding that we're gonna invite and have like a huge you know party and um, I won't be so caught up in like the little things yeah. it won't have to be so perfect and be the perfect wedding because I had the perfect wedding right. so this is just a, a time for us to get everybody together and just have a blast have mm -hmm. a ceremony although it doesn't need to be perfect we do want it to be right and really nice and, and really nice and everything that we want it to be so we'll see sorry i guess my arm air is boring <laughs> <laughs> when we do have our big wedding you guys will be the first to know i'll invite you <laughs> i hope that if you want to elope you do go for it a 
I know. Do what you want to do for your wedding. Yeah. That's what we promote on this channel. Do what you want to do. Well, we hope you enjoyed our wedding story as much as we enjoyed our wedding. That's true. Or at least half as much as we yeah. liked our wedding. We put out new videos every Thursday and Sunday. If you haven't already, please like this video. And if you're not a subscriber, don't forget to... Smash subscribe! <laughs> that finger is dirty, y'all. You already know that finger is dirty. <laughs> now I have to go wash my mouth out with soap.